This is a dot, and when it's in math, it's called a point. This is a line, like a number line. It goes on and on in all directions to infinity. And then array, R-A-Y, it looks like an E, but it's an A, uh, has an endpoint on one side and then an arrow on another. So it has a point and then it goes on and on in one direction. It has a starting point and then it does not have an end point. A line segment has a starting point, the line, and then it ends. A right angle is like an L. It's exactly like an L. And it is 90 degrees. If it is smaller than this L, any smaller, like this, it could be like this, it doesn't matter how much smaller, if it's not a perfect L, then it's called an acute angle. And I tell my kids to remember it like, oh, that's such a little, a, that's such a cute angle. So like it's a little teeny angle. If it's bigger than an L, it's bigger than 90 degrees. Because remember, our right angle is exactly 90 degrees. It's called an obtuse angle. So those are the type of angles. And then, we have classifications of lines. If you have two lines like this, like a monkey bars, they have parallel bars. These are parallel lines. They never cross. They just keep going. Whereas a perpendicular line does cross. So you will notice that I have this angle right here, and you can either have a point or you can have an arrow. But there is an end point, because if you didn't have an end point, it would keep going in, in different directions like this. So for an angle, there's always an end point, whether they put it on there or not. So there is this end point here and here and here. And this is called a vertex. That is where two lines meet. And it is called a vertex. So they will number an arrow, uh, not number, letter an arrow. And say this is A, this is B, this is C. So they would say measure A, B, C or C, B, A. What that means is you're gonna measure the angle that these three points, A, B, C, or C, B, A, meet. And that is when we use a protractor. So, there are two measures on a protractor. There is the inner, which is this right here. And there is an outer measure. And the reason why there's two is that sometimes we're measuring this way. So this one right here. we would use, do you think we would use the inner or the outer? I'll make this easy, I'll just make one. Do you think that this angle is 120 degrees or do you think it's 60 degrees? I can't see it, can you move it down a little? Yeah. Let me see. So is it 60 or 120? Uh, let me see. Is it bigger than a book? It's um an L or is it smaller than an L? It's six. So this right here. Uh, it's bigger than ninety. Yeah. So twenty. So this right here would be ninety, so now we know this is one twenty. Yeah. The sixty comes into play. If we got rid of this 
and we were measuring this, that would be our 60. So it's 60 if it's going this way, and it's 120 if it's going this way. I want you to tell me what 120 and 60 is. Like in an angle? If you added those two numbers up, what would that equal? Um, that equal 160, 120, 180. So a straight line is called a straight angle, and that is 180 degrees. And this is called a straight angle, and we know it as a straight line. And it's always um, 180 degrees, always, always, always. Okay, so they want us to do some measuring. In your book, they're doing this to this. 90 degrees is right here, and there's no difference between the inner and the outer. This is 90 and this is 90. So we know this is a 90 degree angle, and we say angle PQR, PQR, here's the P, here's the Q, the R. That means the measure from P to Q to R is 90 degrees. So does that make sense? Yeah. Measure D, E, F is either, I can't read that, 70 or 110. Which one do you think it is? Is it 70 or is it 110? It's, um... That's an, oh yeah, so, um, it's a 70. And why is it an inner measure instead of an outer measure? Because um, the arrow's facing to the right side. It doesn't matter where it faces, it matters that it's smaller than an L. That's why we know for a fact it cannot be 110 degrees because it's smaller. This would be yeah. a 90 degree angle. So because it's smaller, it doesn't matter if it's left or right, we would use the inner scale to read that, which is 70 degrees. Okay, what about this one right here? Is it this inner or is it outer? It is in <laughs> So how many degrees would that be? That's kind of blurry. I know. I'm fixing it. Um that is one twenty one twenty five. Yep. Okay. Any questions on that? No. Okay. If they want us to classify this, look on your notes. Is it an acute angle or an obtuse angle and why? Obtuse or acute? Did you take notes on that? Uh, no, I didn't finish it. So what did I tell you about an acute angle? How do you know if it's acute? Um, oh, that's uh, such a cute angle. It's so little. So is this a little angle or is it a big angle? It's a big angle. So is it acute or obtuse? Oh, yes. Is this one a obtuse or acute? Cute. And what about this one? That's an obtuse. And then we can measure this. Is this 55 or 125? Uh, that is 55. And how do you know to use the outer measure for that? Um, P 
Is it bigger than an L or is it smaller than an L? It's bigger than an L. So do you want to change your answer? Do we use the outer or the inner? Uh, the outer. So you still think it's 55? Or no, inner. Yeah. <laughs>